What's up guys, Sparks here with another Goddess of Victory Nikkei video, and today we're doing Sakura polls. But before we get into it, I want to say a big thank you to all of you guys. We reached our 1,000 subscriber goal, which is absolutely massive, but it is just the beginning. So as you can see, I'm not home here. I was going to try and riz up our girl Sakura with some pink lights in the background for the Cherry Blossom Festival, but I'm not home right now, so we gotta work with what we got. Um, real quick, before we actually start the summons, let's take a look at uh, what she's actually about. So she is a fire type burst one support with a sniper rifle. And I've seen a lot of people saying she's actually not that great. I'm not gonna go so far as saying she is a must pull, but let's do a brief analysis. I think she might be better than some people are thinking. So her skill one is a defense up uh, and it stacks, uh, it gets pretty big once it's stacked, but it's kind of solving a problem that doesn't really exist. Like, we don't really need to stack that much defense, to be honest. Uh, her skill two is a projectile damage thing. Um, so we'll deal more damage to projectiles, but like, it kind of sucks, to be honest. Uh, I've seen people give examples as like the trains, like shoots out those missiles at the beginning. Honestly, I feel like if you're struggling with the missiles, then you're probably just gonna struggle way more with the rest of the train, but it is what it is. But the burst cooldown is fantastic. So, I mean, Leader does that, which is amazing, and Dola does that, which is amazing. And so if you don't have both of those units, she is definitely going to help you out and can still fit into some things, I think, uh, as a role player, uh, even if you do already have those. Now, her burst skill does a uh, extra damage. Oh no, sorry, it's kind of unique. It does, um, makes your team take less damage from wind enemies. And this is actually a very big buff. So I can see these kind of elemental specific things becoming more of a big deal as the game goes on in the future. Plus attack to all allies is great, but it is sort of a small buff, but just any attack buff is quite good. And then the damage interruption parts, this is talking about those red circles, I believe. So, you know, when the enemy is about to do like a big super attack, uh, yeah, I gotta destroy those red circles, those are the damage interruptions. So it's going to increase the damage you can do to those. Um, we'll see. This could be very impactful or not. I don't know how big of an effect this will have. Um, you know, it gives a percentage here, but we'll just have to test it in the real world. I could see this potentially becoming really relevant in Union Raids, which have just started, uh, because when you get to those higher levels, you'll get to the point where you just like can't destroy those interruption circles at all and you just have to tank whatever it's going to hit you with. So if this is enough to help you push you over the edge in Union Raids, this could be very, very helpful. So uh, let's go ahead and actually start summoning for her. And like I said, we don't have her lights or anything. I got 10 rainbow tickets here. So I want to pull at least one copy of her. See if we can just do it in one shot here without even getting into the gems. Um, rates are pretty good. I mean, there's the normal rate up banner, but let's take a look. Orange spark, guys. 모든 Tetra. Sakura. <laughs> Yo, no lights needed. All right. <laughs> All right, that that was pretty great. Uh, I can't really ask for more. I'm gonna stop here. I'm not I'm not gonna do more pulls to Lament Breaker, honestly. Um, if you haven't already and you enjoy my videos, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you so much. 1,000 subscribers is just the beginning. We are going to go far further than that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Can't really say anything else here. Um, I will do a review on her eventually in the future after I have some more times to really test with her. But I would say that Sakura is worth pulling for, but probably don't go all in on her. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. I hope you're doing well in the raid, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.